In this video, we're going to look at drawing organic molecules, and we're going to look at one type of diagram called a structural diagram. So a structural diagram shows every single bond between the atoms. We're going to start by looking at a simple molecule, and then we'll look at a slightly more uh, complex molecule. So we're going to start out by looking at butane. Butane is C4H10. Butane is an alkane, which means it has only single bonds between its carbon atoms. So I'm going to start by drawing that carbon backbone. So we'll have four carbons in a row, single bonds between each one. And then we need to distribute those 10 hydrogens. Now, if you remember um, from chemistry 20, uh, carbon has a bonding capacity of four, meaning that it can form and will form four bonds to fill its octet. If we look at this structural diagram, what we see is that every single carbon atom, so I'm just gonna check them off, has four bonds. So our end carbon atoms achieve four bonds with three hydrogens and our central carbon atoms achieve four bonds with two hydrogens. So that's a simple structural diagram of C4H10. We're now gonna look at a slightly more complex structural diagram and maybe start to see why structural diagrams uh, tell us a lot of information, but aren't typically used in organic chemistry. So I'm going to draw a diagram of uh, a compound, and we'll talk about naming compounds in a later video. So I'm going to do 4 ethyl, 3 methyl, uh, 3 octane. You're not required to know what that means at this point, um, but we'll walk through uh, in a future video. So octane is an 8 carbon chain. So we'll have 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons as our backbone. On our fourth carbon, so I'm gonna count from the end here. So one, two, three, four. On our fourth carbon, we have what's called an ethyl group. That's a two carbon chain. So C and then C. And on our third carbon, that's our methyl group. We have a, uh, so methyl is a one carbon chain. So we'll have a little carbon here, and I'm just gonna erase the numbers I had drawn in earlier uh, just so that we can use that space. So we've drawn our carbons, and now we're gonna use hydrogens to fill all of the uh, octets to give each one four bonds. So our end carbons on the end of a chain always have three hydrogens. Uh, if we have in a carbon in the middle of a chain, it can have two, one, or zero hydrogens, depending on how many carbons it's bonded to. So you can start to see that it's getting pretty messy to draw in all of these hydrogens. And this molecule is not that complex compared to some that we'll be drawing later. So we can start to see that this is quite laborious to draw and also a little bit messy. So we're gonna talk in the next video about a simpler way to represent this same information.